You know that feeling when you are buried under a mountain of PDFs, just trying to find a single sentence, a single paragraph, or sometimes just a single date. Imagine if those same PDF literally talk back to you and hand you exactly what you are looking for. Today, that's exactly what you are going to build. And guess what? We will do it with surprisingly little code. Hello everyone, I am Ad Fataya and welcome back to another Dev Adventure. In this tutorial, we will turn static PDF into interactive AI assistant using Powerhouse Compo, Copilot Kit, and Co AI. If you are ready to see your document come alive, stick around because by the end of this tutorial, you will have them dancing to your commands. Let's get started. Why does this matter right now? You may ask. Well, ask any researcher, student, or developer, we lose countless of hours searching for a single piece of information, flipping pages, digital or otherwise, in the hope of striking gold. An AI BDF assistant changed the game. It's like having a 24-7 reading buddy who never forget a thing and can instantly produce exactly the snippet, summary, or data point you are looking for. Here's our plan. We will create a user-friendly web app using Copilot Kit for the front end, a low-cost fast API backend, and a specialized core AI agent that deeply analyzes PDFs. Think of it like hooking up RTD2 with advanced reading comprehension and then giving him a slick next to GS interface so that the rest of us can use it. Before we write a single line of code, let's map out the big picture. We will have three main components. A front-end built in Next.js using Copilot Kit, a back-end API running on Fast API, and a core AI agent that does the real heavy lifting. Let's break that down in plain English. Because yeah, it sounds fancy, but it's pretty straightforward. First, we will have the user interface, a nice chat-like experience, plus a place to upload PDFs. And then we will have the backend which receives uploaded PDFs, saves them and relies queries from the front end. And finally, the core AI agent, our AI brain that analyzes PDFs in detail and answers user questions. In plain English, you upload your PDFs, the core AI reads them, you ask questions with the chat, core AI responds with context, no more endless calling, no more guesswork. Let's see how it all comes together. Remember, this architecture means minimal repetitive coding for custom integration. We centralize the logic in QAI, letting the front end be sleek and lightweight. All right, time to give our AI buddy a place to live. The back end is where you store your PDFs, handle user queries, and orchestrate the data flow to QAI. Let's spin a fast API app and connect it to Core AI to process PDF content. First, we will create a fast API application. Upload endpoints, accept PDF files, and save them. Query endpoints routes your user question to the Core AI agent, then returns the AI's response. Then we will integrate with Core AI. Run PDF Assistant Query is where we call the specialized Core AI agent. The agent does the reading and retain a comprehensive answer. In plain English, the user says, hey, can you read this document? Our backend says, sure, let's store it here. And if you ask me a question, I will pass them along to the AI, so it can answer it accurately. That's all the magic behind the scenes. So this is our backend, all set to store BDFs and funnel user questions to the AI. Next, let's give it a proper face that is our front end. Okay, so now we have a robust back end. Let's wrap it up with a shiny, user friendly interface. Enter Next.js plus Copilot Kit. It's like turning a raw command line into a sleek smartphone app. The user will see a simple upload BDF buttons plus a chat box to ask questions. Under the hood, we will hook everything up to Fast API and Crew AI. 
we are using Next.js for our front end, with Copilot Kit providing the chat interface components. Let's start by creating a new Next.js app and installing the Copilot Kit packages. Our main page has two parts, a sidebar for document management and a chat interface for interacting with the AI. The sidebar lets users upload PDFs and see what documents are available. We are using a simple fetch calls to our backend API for the uploads. For the chat interface, Copilot Kit does the heavy lifting. We configure it to connect to our backend endpoint and handle messages. What is nice about this approach is that we get features like message history, typing indicators, and responsive design with minimal code. We also need to style our component to create a professional look. Notice how we are using a clean, modern design that focuses on readability and usability. With our front end complete, now we have a beautiful, intuitive interface for our PDF assistant. User can upload documents, ask questions, and get intelligent responses all in a clean, professional UI. But there's one more thing we have to do, connecting everything together and testing our system, which we will do next. Now comes the exciting part, connecting our front end and back end together to create a complete PDF assistant. We will also add some advanced feature to make our system even more powerful. With both component built, let's connect them. Our front end is configured to talk to our back end API, sending files for upload and queries for processing. Let's test the system by uploading a PDF and asking some questions about it. Notice how quickly the system processes the document and provides detailed, accurate responses. One advanced feature we are adding is the crew result panel, which shows a structured summary of the information extracted from the PDF. This gives user a quick overview of the document content. We are also implementing caching to prevent duplicate processing of the same query, which improves performance and reduces cost. For real production applications, you might want to add user authentication and document management and more sophisticated crew AI agents tailored to your specific needs. Once integrated, your BDF becomes this dynamic knowledge base like your personal researcher. Ask a question, get an immediate snippet or summary, no more manual digging. And there you have it, a complete professional PDF assistant that can analyze documents and answer questions intelligently. The combination of Copilot Kit beautiful UI and the Crew AI document processing create a system that feels like magic to use. Everything looks shiny, right? But there's always room to grow. Let's talk about real-world concerns and next-level expansions that can take your BDF assistant to new heights. First, security and permissions. If you are dealing with private documents, you will want to implement user authentication, role-based permissions, and logging. Second, scalability. If thousands of BDFs get uploaded, you will need robust storage strategies and perhaps more sophisticated vector search solutions. Third, multi-document cross-referencing. Let's say you want the AI to cross-reference multiple PDFs at once. You could incorporate a vector database or a knowledge graph for advanced semantic linking. And finally, industry-specific. Healthcare documents, legal briefs, finance, you can tailor your crew AI agent for domain knowledge or add specialized compliance checks. So yeah, an AI PDF assistant is a game-changing right now and it will only get more powerful if you tackle these challenges head on. And there we have it. From a pile of BDF collecting digital dust to a living, breathing AI agent that knows exactly where everything is and can serve it on a silver platter. Let's do a quick recap. We mapped out a neat architecture, Fast API plus Next.js plus Copilot Kit plus QAI. We spun up a Rokos backend that saves PDFs and handle queries. We built a clean Copilot Kit front end so you can chat with your AI easily. We integrated everything to automatically retrieve, analyze, and deliver knowledge from your PDF in seconds. If that's not the future of document management, I don't know what is. But hey, this is just the start. You can add user-specific security, scale up with vector databases, 
or even do multi-document cross-referencing. The possibilities are huge. And now, if you find this tutorial helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more AI content. If you have any question, drop a comment below. And if you are excited about building AI PDF Assistant, let me know in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.